Hey there, folks. I'm Logan. And I'm Grayson. And we're the Chess Bros. And in today's episode, we are finishing this Let's Play. We are gonna go around, just see the epilogue of this game. Um, I'm gonna be controlling us, because the game is over now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Logan, Logan stole the remote. From I me. did steal it. <laughs> it, it, it. Game over. Chapter must be over. I play. Uh, <laughs> You're a strange one, sir. It must be something special to convince you to return. Although, if I had a Goomba that cute waiting for me at the dock, I might return too. Well, whatever you're doing, be careful. Goodbye, sir. Ah, ah Goomba. Oh, oh my goodness. I wonder what every, what everyone else must be in their place. Long time no see, Mario. I'm totally glad I got to see you again. This is awesome. Everyone's ready. We heard you were coming, so we've been waiting here for you. So are you ready to go? Wherever you go, we are so there with you. Ooh, so it's all so we have there. every... Uh, oh, okay. So I guess we, we have don't. everyone in our party? Yeah. Why are we low health? Oh, because we, we finished that boss battle with a one <laughs> health. <laughs> yeah, I forgot right. about that. Oh my god. Yeah, but we have the 9. The yeah. bullet is somehow at 30. Oh, because everybody healed. Yeah, but we do have everyone. We do have everyone. I thought for a second, Mario, are you dupless? Uh, <laughs> this post game <laughs> dupless no. Mario. Okay, so I guess there's not much for us to do. I thought we were going to go and say hi to everybody. I thought that was exactly what we were going to do too. Are they no. not? Like, you can't go to. Go, go say hi to Professor Goom. <laughs> Professor Goom. Professor Frankly. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm gonna heal. I mean, you can still see what everybody has to say. Oh, like, Luigi's just here by himself now. Yeah. After I can't just touch them. We never use their coins. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like, for anything but badges. Ooh. Luigi. He doesn't have anybody by his side. I wonder what um he's gonna tell us. <laughs> I've been catching a breather here, you know, reflecting back on all my adventures. It's been a long road, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. We already heard all- Oh! Oh my goodness, oh. Okay. Oh, he's gonna tell us about the book. <laughs> actually, know what? This guy actually novelized my quest. He's been interviewing me. He was actually interviewing me here at the end during breaks from my adventure. I didn't think anyone would be interested in reading about about Luigi, but Super Luigi came out recently, and check this out, bro. Here in Rogueport, it set a new record for for consecutive weeks at number one on the bestseller list. The new oh Rogueport ho 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 times. ho! Hooray for Luigi, bro! I started reading it the other day, but it's an encyclopedic amount of amount in multiple volumes. Excruciating detail, bro. It's like a history book. It seemed like one anyway. They've got it in the shop here in Rogueport. How about you snag a copy, bro? <laughs> Ooh, that's it. We already have so many copies. Yeah. Believe See me. if there's better badges now that the game is over. <laughs> Ooh, no. There aren't. <laughs> but we... Still, we never listen to all of the mouse guy's stories, so I guess that's what we'll do. You don't think it'd be more interesting to go talk to people who... Yeah. Like, you know. And like... then I'll get the stories from mouse guy. Well, I guess... No, because we could still upgrade. We're not going to do that, but I just want to see if this guy's anything new. Do, yeah. we, do we not have enough for Vivian? For Flurry? Yeah, Flurry. Has I don't think so. No, we have two. Oh, man. Let's see, frankly. What, what, what research he's doing now. You seem pretty cheery, and as always, I am happily busy with my research. By the by, did you know what was in that treasure chest we found in the palace? Oh, I almost forgot about that. It contained a dried shroom! Oh my god! <laughs> Punio put it there. Oh no, it's nothing to be disappointed by. Now we know for certain that people indeed <laughs> oh ate god. mushrooms 1,000 years ago. Oh no. This is a groundbreaking anthropological discovery. Aw, uh, I thought it was going to be something exciting in the chat. Open up for another game, but no. I guess not. Let's I mean, it could have been. They could have said that he didn't tell us what was really in the chest. Oh, because there was a darker secret. 
<laughs> An even worse catastrophe. <laughs> Honestly, though, how do you get worse, like, from an ancient de- Like, what catastrophe in this world could be worse? <laughs> two ancient demons. Yeah, two ancient demons, and a black hole, and Bowser. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no, <laughs> that was close. Who voiced him? Mm, you were doing it last. I have no idea what it made him sound like. I also have no idea what it made him sound like. Good day to you, sir. Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. So I didn't hear dragons and dungeons. <laughs> From a mere five coins, I can share with you the tale of dragons and dungeons. The demon built a dra built a dungeon near the palace and filled it with terrifying monsters. All those who fell into disfavor were thrown into the dungeon to rot. Yeah. Yay? <laughs> Yay. And the demon also had three dragon pets. Hooktail, Gloomtail, and Bonetail. These dragons flew across the land, spreading fear and sorrow all over. Even now, the mere mention of a dragon is enough to give some the terrors. Hooktail is pretty, pretty weak to have been created by an ancient demon. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the, well, yeah, I guess even without the Crooked Badge, it was a pretty easy battle. Yeah, we didn't use it, yeah. Yeah. If there's another tale you wish to hear, just ask. We listened to almost all Oh, no, we did not listen to almost all of them. <laughs> like half. <laughs> yeah. From here, five coins, I can share with you the tale of the demon sealed within. But even the brave Koopa's stroke was not enough to end the demon's reign. The wise Goomba thought of another use for the crystal stars in that dire hour. She suggested sealing the demon forever with the crystal stars. All agreed. The heroes matched their strengths with the power of the crystal stars, and they successfully sealed the demon's soul within the deepest part of the palace. Together, they made it so that only all seven stars could break the seal. There's another tale if you wish to hear, just ask. Yeah, I love this, like, lore that we're yeah, building. Yeah, the demon's about. curse. Yeah. For a mere five current. It, it seems like pretty important information just to be like, oh yeah, I'll tell you the history of this world. We got only five coins, though. <laughs> he knows that he's going to keep you grip and yeah. take, like, 50 coins. Yeah. The four heroes thought they had sealed away the demon of all of its powers, but the demon used a tiny opening before the seal was complete to curse them all. While holding the crystal stars, they'd feel nothing, but when they let them go, a black box would appear to seal their souls within. Four heroes traveled the world, scattering the stars so the seal would remain. But the last four stars each carried the curse, which claimed each hero. If there's another tale you wish to hear, just ask. Wow. Uh, the puny. Hmm. Sure. That was about puny. The hiding places of many of the crystal stars have now faded into legend. But some say that the wise Goomba hid one in the great tree. In that time, many monsters wandered in the nearby Bogley woods. The tiny punies were always tormented by their fierce appetites, it was said. Pitying them, the Goomba hollowed out the great tree for the punies to live in. The punies were so grateful that they swore to protect the crystal star there. If there's another jelly wish to hear, just ask. Now we know the background behind the funeral. Oh, the Boo, boo Heroine's last day. Yeah, because I guess Boos don't die. So I guess a curse is what d done did her in. <laughs> so a mere five coins I can share with the share with you the tale of the Boo Heroine's last day. Does everyone become a Boo when they die? I don't know. <laughs> uh huh. I don't know if Boos ever lived. <laughs> um, once the Boo Heroine hid her star in the steeple. She was trapped in the nearby town. Some say the crystal star lies in that steeple still. But, oh, and there's a bunch of booze in the creepy seal. That's kind of funny. Oh yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> if there's another tale you wish to hear, just ask. Pirate King Cortez. Koopa Hero went to a southern isle to hide his star where none would find it. But the Koopa was so tired from his journey that the pirate Cortez stole it easily. In that very instant, the brave Koopa was trapped in an inescapable chest. But Cortez did not realize the power of the star and lost it among his treasures. 
There's another tail we wish had. Do I have to read that every time? <laughs> oh, the Toad Hero. For a mere five points, I can... Oh, no. <laughs> Strong Toad held his star and continued his arduous journey. But eventually, the miles took their toll upon him and he collapsed. A traveling healer happened by and saved his life. But the Toad knew his fate was to be trapped in the box when the star was gone. So he asked this healer to hide the star in a secret place known to no one. What? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that? Which one could that one be? I kind of missed it. Do it again. So, so, so go up again a little more. Traveling healer happened by. Huh, go up again. Go, 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 go. go. Oh, Grace, <laughs> we're not going to read this entire thing again. Okay, good. So, now Logan. Ah! It, it did that itself. Okay, five points. Okay. An A. Strong to. No, go back up. To held the star, named okay, then next. Eventually the miles took their toll upon him and he collapsed. A traveling healer happened by and saved his life. But Toad knew his fate was to be trapped in the box when the star was gone. Uh -huh. He asked the healer to hide the star in a secret place known to no one. Huh, so okay. I'm trying to think, it has to be one of the places where we got a box, right? So the boxes were one in Hooktail's castle. Another in the creepy steep no where was the f so the first one I'm trying to think of the first one Hooktail. was no in the sewers of Roeport then Hookdale's castle oh that makes sense so yeah. the sewers of Roeport yeah, that so right. that must be the the last crystal star then was hidden in Roeport <laughs> maybe all becomes legend after the demon was sealed within the palace of shadow many refused to come near the place of terror but as the years passed, entire generations forgot, and the penniless and the moral began to congregate in this once barren place. This place soon became a populous harbor, the town of Roeport, and some even began to say that the underground city held a legendary treasure, but they were unaware that the demons slept beneath them still. There's another tale, I think that's the last one. Yeah, or not. Yeah. <laughs> the magical map. The heroes knew that the seal might not last forever, and they sought to make the crystal stars available to the one who might need them. So before going to their individual dooms, they made a map to all the stars. And to prevent an evil force from misusing the map, they placed it in a box that could only be opened by the pure of heart. Man. Dang. Oh no, 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 not this. <laughs> um, wow, so much lore in this game. It is incredible to think, you know, and now we know the whole history, all the people, oh, yeah. those heroes. So, I'm trying to think of places where people might be that we could talk to them. So, I'm going down to the sewers just so we can check out, um, so, I'm trying to think of where interesting people might be. Who'd you want to talk to? Uh, I mean, Pedalberg would be nice. Pedalberg, uh, you think? Why? Well, I don't know. I was thinking, like, I think in Twilight Town, Beldum and Marilyn might be there. Yeah, that's interesting. I wonder, like, where would be... This is wrong. Um, we might really, unless you... I, I think, realistically, well... I'm just trying to think. So there's Petalburg, Boggly Woods, Blitz Pit... Hmm. Um, Twilight Town, Kill Hall Key... Um, this is the Boggly Woods not where I want to go. <laughs> where are we trying to go? I was trying to go to Twilight Town to see if Marilyn and Vivian were... Not Marilyn, Vivian, Belden. I guess it, there's not going to be anybody new here. I don't think, at least. Yeah, they'll just be the few new people. More nagging by the old hag. When will it ever stop? I think that's the exact same thing he said last time we were here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that little junior. He's always, always so darn squishy-washy. Yeah, that's, that's not new. Um, wow, so I wonder, like, th the towns might not even have updated information? No. Something like Pennington, but all those people, Pennington. I guess, are just like... Pennington, I don't even think you can talk to him. Really? He's not around? Oh, that's what we want to do. We want to buy the final Luigi books. Yeah. So that we could see... I get, Yeah, to see... How it actually ends? Yeah. Ooh. I wonder if there are different differences. Like, do you think we need to read the whole series or just the last one? 
read the series just the last one we already know luigi's take on it all <laughs> this one should be twilight town i want to see if marilyn and 15 are there and then they showed in the endings sequence that grotus and lord crump ended up why where's twilight oh wait there's not one in twilight town that's right yeah you had to take the actual pipe which is also very nearby okay but let me check flashlight heights because grotus and Crump Lord were Crump there. were there in their flashback thing, like not flashback, but Goombella letter. I can't believe our time playing this game is so close to being. Yeah, over. yeah. Ooh, five minutes. <laughs> you think is this really? Oh, oh, it's Lady Bo. She was a character in original Paper Mario. Was she a partner? Yeah. Oh wow. It. Is you, isn't it, Mario? Well, it's been quite a while, hasn't it? I've come here with Bootler. Yes, a little vacation to Poshly Sanctum. I hadn't left the mansion in ages. I figured it was time to turn some heads on the road. <laughs> but what a nice surprise to see you. Feel free to be overwhelmed by my beauty. <laughs> Bootler. Lady Bow, your beauty is like the song of the nightingale in the evening. Indeed, I feel you've grown into a fine young girl who'd make your ancestors proud. So I suppose Boos have ancestors. <laughs> so it's a good... Yeah, it's like... Is, yeah. is Pangton in here, you think? He might be. Yeah, yeah there he is. Let's see. Let's see if he knows where Mario or he's gonna still call us Luigi. <laughs> Luigi! Uh, no, I mean Mario. <laughs> How are you, dear boy? That's it. <laughs> that is funny though that he, he now knows our actual name. Well, I guess there are probably like a bunch of little Easter eggs scattered around, huh? Yeah, just a few. I'm trying to think. So I know Lady Bo is here. Let's see if where I think that room was the one where Grotus and Lord Crump were in that flashback, but I don't think that they're actually. Yeah. Maybe they're back on the moon. Are we gonna check in with Tech? Oh, that's genius, Chris. I'm Tech. Yeah. How could we forget about Tech? He, he saved the world. <laughs> I feel like we might have enough material for one more episode. You think so? Yeah, because we've got to see Tech. We've got to read the Luigi book. We want to go to Twilight Town. Um, unless you want to make this one just like a I think this can be like a long. 25. I, I don't think it's going to take us. It might take us half an hour. Um, yeah, so we'll just keep going. This will be our final episode. We can't just keep clickbaiting them. Final episode, part five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so, if we're thinking, okay, so let's head, yeah, I guess to tech. <coughs> I don't think, so this will take us, I do want to quickly go by Twilight Town. Yeah, that's a good idea. I have Yoshi. <laughs> So, yeah, I'll go to Twilight Town quick. Because I feel like, I have no idea. I thought Marilyn and Vivian were going to be there, but... But Grotus wasn't there. Yeah, so, it, it, it's kind of like, yeah, who knows. But it's quick but getting maybe, yeah, it just might be that Grotus is on the moon, too. You know, I wonder if he's made up with tech. Eh, who knows. It doesn't look like, they might be in the next room, who knows. But it doesn't look like they're here. <laughs> You want to make sure to check, like, you know, down, too, a little bit, like, yeah. Nah. Yeah, they're not down. I'll check that, that bushy area in the previous room, though. I didn't check down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're not here. They're in another corner of the Paper Mario universe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with Vivian, just, like, who even knows, like... Yeah, <laughs> what are they gonna do now? Like, their entire existence was kind of about bring back the Demon Queen. <laughs> For a thousand years. For a thousand years, yeah. Oh man, yeah. It's kind of crazy, like, I was reading the wiki at one point about this game, and it's like, nobody knows how the Demon que Queen appeared. Like, she just, like, didn't exist, and then she suddenly exists with, like, this completely, like, evil force. Mm. That just, like, popped up and started trying to conquer the world. 
So we're going to Tech? East Rogueport? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to... I'm just going to actually buy the Luigi book. You can get to Tech go by going through West Rogueport quicker. Okay, yeah. Because I think the book comes in whenever... <laughs> oh, is 5 the last one? Yeah, I think so. Check it out. I feel like there were only five. That's what I had heard, yeah. Um, yeah, journey's in. So, this this is apparently not Luigi talking, but he, we'll pretend the headcanon is that this is Luigi. I can narrate it, and you can do, like, Luigi voice when we get to Luigi voice. Oh, sure. Yeah. Super Luigi Volume 5, Journey's End. At long last, Luigi crossed the threshold of Hate Song Tower. Luigi rallied his allies. We will defeat the Chestnut Gang. We must. The friends by his side, Luigi at last faced the fell chestnut king. But then he heard a voice and spun to see the fair princess declare. She told our painful, she oh, told our hero the painful truth. The evil chestnut king was actually her true love, made monstrous by crep Ooh. in a bid for her throne. Uh, at that moment, the villainous crep appeared. The marvelous compass, please. Hand it over and the love empire will rule again. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi and co. were no match for the might of Crep, their true enemy. But then, the compass piece in Eclair's tiara shone forth. It bestowed the future sight on Luigi. Knowing uh, Crep's every move, he smote the fiend with his mallet. And Have with never that... heard of the word crepe? Crep? You... That's how I say that word. The crepe, like the dessert. Crepe? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, continue, please. <laughs> it bestowed the future sight on Luigi. Knowing crepe's every move, <laughs> he smote the fiend with his mallet. And with that, it was all finally over. Luigi and his friends parted, leaving the Waffle Kingdom in peace. But Luigi regretted not gazing farther into the future. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I remember when I when I was like early on in high school and I learned that the past tense of smite was smote. Like I just like died laughing for like five minutes straight. Like I don't know why it just found so funny. Like smite to smote. Oh yeah, I feel yeah yeah. He longed to see the wafflers gathering on Princess Eclair's wedding day. He wanted to see her beauty, and who stood at her side. But it was not to be. Luigi went back to his humble home, which remained exactly as he had left it, a cold comfort for his heavy heart. Taking up a book he had been reading, Luigi tried to read, but his long trial had sapped his strength, and he soon fell asleep. Luigi dreamt of his friends and his beloved Princess Eclair, and sleeping, Luigi spoke. I shall return. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. They should have made a, a, a game, like an entire side game, uh, Paper Luigi's Marvelous Adventure or something. That literally could have been, like, the like instead of Origami King, what yeah. they did. Um, it would have trolled everyone. It would have been amazing. <laughs> 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 what was I thinking? Um, yeah, so I guess that's why Luigi didn't want to tell us was that his true love actually was already taken. Oh, uh, was already in love. Yeah. Well, huh. I'm kind of stuck now. <laughs> so I guess I gotta go back up this way. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, we gotta jump across. Check tech. Ooh, man. I love tech. He has to be alive. Didn't we find out he was. Yeah, Goombella went to visit him and he survived. That's right, yeah. Ooh. Parkour. <laughs> I try it. Uh, no, I've never tried. Parkour is one of those things that's just like, <laughs> I would die doing it. Like, there, there's no if or anything. It's just like, I would die if I attempted parkour. Because I'd be like, I'm real clumsy. One time I was walking down an aisle in the theater, like in our high school theater, and I just like was walking normally, and suddenly I just stepped on my foot wrong, and I just like fell backward into a chair, like in slow motion too. It took like, like 30 seconds for me to end up like fully on my back in the chair. Well, the X-Nots, oh, there's no more X- Okay, I was like, are they still gonna fight us? No. You should go to Groder's chamber. Grotus' chamber as well. Uh, to see if he's there? Yeah. Okay. I don't remember what floor it's on. This one. Oh, this is it. <laughs> okay. No, it's yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess. It looks like the X-Nots did not return, though. 
They just like left yeah. this perfectly good moon base. Well, I guess. <laughs> they might be dead grazing. No, they were fine. At least grow I think some most of them died. Hmm. It depends on what happens to enemies, like <laughs> Who even knows at this point, like just, which just, enemies and which ones die when they when they're done in their battle. Also, I don't know how the moon base is back. Like, didn't Tech blow it up? Something blew up. Yeah, who knows? What... Maybe Tech will explain it to us. <laughs> Ooh. Tech! <laughs> Mario, I am pleased that I could see you again. I detonated explosives after you left to ensure the base would never be used for evil. Of course, I was destroyed in the resulting explosion. But one day, I regained consciousness, and all was as before. Yes, everything. Oh, that's so interesting. I do not comprehend why, but... As I regained consciousness, I saw a light, and I thought I heard Princess Peach's voice. Oh, that's cute. That's so interesting. It I know the star- been... I think it must be, like, the crystal stars and all can, it can, like, grant a wish or something. Or some subconscious wish sort of thing of Peach, and the crystal stars' power combined and brought it all back. I know, that's so- that's so fascinating. So I guess that's the answer to our question. It turns out the base- was exploded. All the X-Nuts are dead. Because <laughs> if he blew it up to make sure the never used for evil, then they're done so. Though I guess Lord Crump exploded survived being blasted off into space, so they could be alive. Yeah. I have no idea. I have no idea how to get back to Road it's 4. Sub-level 3. Is it? Yeah. That's what I'm sub-level 3. This is sub-level 3. You sure? I think it's 2, actually. Oh. Yeah, it should be now. So what do we got left? Now it's is that nothing. It? This is it. That was everything. I, is it? Hmm. I don't remember if there's anything else. Oh, we could go say hi to Frankie. <laughs> yeah, Frankie, Francesca. Frenchie, see how mob life is acquainting him. Oh, we did but that. Then, I mean, there's so many like little mini quests that we didn't do. Oh like... yeah, Trouble Center, we're not gonna do that. Or the Pit of yeah. 100 Trials. Yeah. Those are like interesting things to check out. So there there were two things that we essentially, three things that we never did in this game that are still kind of like things you could do. Mm -hmm. um, the first is the Glitz Pit. Yeah, you could redo it. It's not any more difficult the first time than the first time we did it in that they didn't level up at all. So us trying to take it on, each battle would like be done in like a single hit. <laughs> Especially with our, what, like, 12 damage yeah. like, jumping. Um, yeah, and so there was that. We never went to Pianta Parlor, which has, like... Oh, like, all the mini games, mini games and things. We yeah. never did the Pit of 100 Trials, which uh, which is, like, an 100-floor, mm -hmm. like, you know, battle arena with uh, the last dragon as its boss. Yeah, which is apparently... It's argued which is more difficult, Hooktail or Bonetail. Bonetail has... I mean, not Booktail, the final boss and Bonetail, because it has better stats, but they, they say, like, it, the move set with the final boss is much harder. Hey, listen, Mario. You're incredible. Truly incredible. You didn't just do the Syndicate a favor. You did the whole world a favor. <laughs> Peace returned to the world, and it's all because of you, Mario. Thank you. Oh, I know. We'll name the baby that we're going to <laughs> Mario! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my God. I guess all this fighting with the Robos is sort of getting old. That's it. I'm going to pitch in and do my part to mend some of these fences. Whenever I see you, something always makes me want to be nice. You're a real pain. <laughs> see what this guy has to say. Oh, hey, it's you. Something tells me that I can't just call you you anymore. You're Mario, after all. The guy who saved... Guy what saved the world. I'm honored just to know you. Yeah, man. This is basically... That's everybody we want to talk to, folks. So, that this is it. This is the end of our Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Journey. Yeah, that's just wild to think about. There's... Yeah. Like we said, there's tons of little fun things in this game that... 
Uh, if you ever want to play, uh, d you should all play this game. I know you've watched us play it now, but there are tons of little adventures, tons of little mm -hmm. side things that you could yeah. totally go into to just like flesh out this game world even more. But as far as what we've been able to do, what we've been able to, to see, it's just been such an amazing pleasure and like yeah it's it's been wonderful to you know relive those moments from when we were kids playing through this it's been great to see how the game finally yeah. ends yeah it's not, we have never <laughs> yeah. been in this game before like we've played a bunch just never beaten it yeah and now now we have and, and we were very close to not being it this time <laughs> we had one health left and it was all on that one turn i know <laughs> man it was kind of beautiful how we beat it though like you, how we're switching off chapters and then literally at the and final the boss, boss yeah, we were... we're switching off attacking and defending yeah. <laughs> oh cute yeah so thanks so much for joining us on this over a hundred part series <laughs> uh, it has been a ride and please like if you enjoy it well, why don't comment down below some of your favorite mo moments throughout the entire series and then we'll we'll read them and then we'll probably we'll respond to your comments yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. It's just been so cool. Yeah, it has. Please make sure to check out our next adventure too. The next, whatever next game we start a series on. Yeah. If you have any recommendations, feel free to put those in the comments as well. We'd love to hear what you think we should play next. Yeah, and we'll we'll get started within a few years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um. Yeah. So if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. And share somebody that you think would enjoy it too. Yeah. Um, if you want to be notified of when our next series starts. <laughs> what? No, I'm just uh, like, I can't believe it's almost uh, done. Yeah, it this is done. We have like uh, about 10 seconds left. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, if you want to be notified of our next new series, please hit that notification bell to be notified. Yeah, it has been a pleasure. It is bittersweet. <laughs> but we'll see you in the next video. Chesro's out. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> <laughs>